this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. This is my last scientific video before we go back to prospecting videos. The next video will be prospecting for semi-precious minerals in a local stream body. This is part Two of a video of microorganisms and pond water. Pond water under the microscope. What will we see? Navicula, Oscillatoria, Gloriocapsa, Rhodophyta, the Rhodophytes, Spirogyra, Rotifers, navicula, diatoms, foraminifera, fungi. These specimens are very common in pond water and they are aerobic or oxygen producing photosynthetic uh, plants. The sarcodines or amoebae or another type of microorganism. I hope you can see me. I need to get some equipment. I have, you probably can't see it, a cover slip made of glass. It's a square piece of glass that's very thin, very fragile, and a thicker microscope slide. It's also made out of glass and transparent. On the microscope slide, I'll take some of the sample of the, I already know what it is, of the algae that, we're, that we want to look at, cut it with a pair of scissors so that's not too large of a sample. Notice I say sample. In chemistry, Ge um, biology, we take samples. In geology, we take specimens or rocks. And I want a little bit, not much. If we have too much, then it's too much under the microscope and there'll be too much water. Let me do this first. With a pipette, I'm going to pipette some of the water and put a drop of the water on the microscope slide. Just a drop is fine. Then, in that drop of water, I'll place the filamentous algae. And it's sticking to the forceps. I don't believe I have it in there. Let me try to get a little more. Instead of cutting it, I'll break it apart.
I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking some of the green filamentous material, a life form, which I already know what it is because it is very common where I collected it at the pond in Caldwell, New Jersey, in the park. Now let's just go for a large amount. Okay, we'll put our sample over there. You can kind of see the algae on the slide. I'll have to add a little more water because we have so much algae. And what I'm hoping is that when I put the cover slip on, it will spread, it will spread beyond the cover slip. And let's take a look under the microscope at what we have at 100 times magnification where the micro microorganisms are 100 times magnified. We'll adjust our light source. There we go. And what we have is mature Spirogyra just as I assumed. There we go. I need to put my glasses on. The 
and see what I'm doing. So this is under 100 times magnification. Now let's go to 430 times magnification and see if we can see any diatoms such as navicula. Now obviously it's darker because we've demoluted our light source and we'll move the slide around and see what we have. Okay. What's that? See if I can get more light. Hold on. Yeah. A little more. Under the microscope again. There we go. Mature spirogyra. The chloroplasts and mature spirogyra are in a spiral formation along the filamentous algae. I don't see any other diatoms such as navicula which commonly looks like tiny little boats that align themselves along the spirogyra or filamentous algae and move about by means of, hmm, I think cilia, or maybe another type of flagella, I don't know. I'm forgetting my high school biology. I don't think they're flagellated. I'm not seeing any protists of Kingdom Protista. Organisms lacking structure. Creeping slowly by a amoeboid shape. The amoebae. That's phylum amoebae. What else do we have here? I mean phylum sarcodna. The sarcodines. Focus. 
This is why I wanted to get a small sample of algae. And we'll make this a quick video. So you can see the algae, in this case, Philomethus spirogyra, proliferated at this time in the fresh water of the pond in Caldwell, New Jersey. Now, today is May, and as a good scientist, I forget. It's halfway through May. It's the end of May. Yeah, it's May uh, 25. And as the year, as the summer progresses, we'll see different biota underneath the microscope. And I'll keep you updated. And again, until next time, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, I always encourage you to keep looking down.